Hello, my name is Dale Larn. I made a discovery that led to the true identity of Jack the Ripper, and I've written a book about it. The title of the book is Vincent Alias Jack, the true story of how Vincent Van Gogh became Jack the Ripper. The discovery involves finding images hidden in the Van Gogh painting which happen to relate to Jack the Ripper. After thoroughly researching Van Gogh's life and matching it up to Jack the Ripper's deeds, the conclusion became unavoidable. Vincent Van Gogh was Jack the Ripper. This is the first of three videos which reveal the hidden images. Enjoy the adventure. Before revealing the hidden images in the Van Gogh painting, it is first necessary to, at least briefly, take a look at a gruesome photo that provides the key to unlocking the hidden images. It's from over a century ago, but it's still a tough image to look at, so be prepared. This is Mary Kelly, the sixth Jack the Ripper victim, as she was found on her bed in her room in the East End of London on November 9, 1888. The photo is held at the National Archives in Kew, England, and they have kindly provided this image. There are three aspects of the photo that need to be taken note of. First, note the position of the body, the head to the right and the legs spread out to the left. Secondly, note that the killer paid special attention to the right thigh, propping it up and removing the flesh and leaving the thigh bone exposed. Also note that the bone is broken in two. And thirdly, note that Mary Kelly is facing the viewer and that the killer also paid close attention to her face, mauling it beyond recognition. It was Mary Kelly's face that provided the first key to unlocking the code hidden in the Van Gogh painting. And it was in this painting that I saw Mary Kelly's mutilated face hidden among the flowers. The title of the painting is Irises. It resides in the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam, and they were kind enough to provide this image. Vincent painted a representation of Mary Kelly's face in this area here. This shows a close-up of the area, and this shows the face outline. The black area along here and here represents the hair, and this blue area represents the right eye, and this blue area the left eye. Her mouth is here, pulled up to the side in a kind of grin and showing the teeth. The nose is represented here as a skeletal nasal cavity since it had been removed. For those who can't make it out yet, it may take a little time. For those who can see it, I only hope it's not late at night and you're home alone. It can be a bit spooky. But Vincent painted more than just Mary Kelly's face hidden in the flowers. He painted her entire body. With her face to the right, as in the photo, her legs must be to the left, and they are. The right one is here, and the left one is here. With both legs, he represented the lower legs with stems and the feet with blooms. What helps to confirm that these are the representation of Mary Kelly's legs is how Vincent chose to represent the right thigh. Looking at this close-up, Vincent represented the exposed right thigh bone that is seen in the photo by allowing the bright yellow background to show through. He even wanted to represent the thigh bone had been broken, and he did so by breaking up the yellow with some blue. This is covered in more detail in the book, but it is worth noting that about four years before Mary Kelly's murder, Vincent's mother broke her right thigh bone. Vincent wanted to include more detail in the painting, and he added a right hand in this area, which is holding a figurine, and a left hand here, represented by a bloom, just as with the feet. And even though, as the police reports noted, and as can be seen in the photo, Mary Kelly's breasts were removed, Vincent wanted to represent them in the painting, and he positioned them in their expected position, the right one here and the left one here. Adding some highlight to complete the shape of the torso shows the full body of Mary Kelly as Vincent painted her in the irises. As can be seen in this side-by-side -side comparison, Vincent painted Mary Kelly hidden in the irises in basically the same position as in the photo. Vincent knew how Mary Kelly looked on her deathbed because he was there in her room. Vincent Van Gogh murdered Mary Kelly. Mary Kelly was a Jack the Ripper victim. Vincent Van Gogh was Jack the Ripper. See much more detail on the hidden images and the powerful evidence that proves Vincent Van Gogh was Jack the Ripper in my soon to be released book, Vincent Alias Jack. Visit VincentAliasJack.com for further details and watch part two and three of the video to see more hidden images in the irises. Vincent painted more.